A customer's lifetime value is a common calculation performed by organizations that sell goods or services, and it helps them approximate future revenue each customer can bring them by analyzing their purchasing history. It's an insightful metric that helps you analyze your long-term strategies with your customers. It's very common to perform this analysis in a Google Sheet after exporting data from one's invoicing tool and apply a series of formulas manually for many columns, which takes time. And so in this episode, I will walk you through how to use your own formula called a custom function in a Google Sheet to perform multiple calculations at once. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. You will find in this video's description the link to a sheet that includes a script called an app script to perform a customer lifetime value analysis. Try it out by making a copy. I've also included step-by-step -step instructions. In the sheet, you will find three columns of data related to buyer history, such as customer identifier, purchase date, and sale amount. Now, in order to estimate the revenue a customer can potentially offer you in the long term, you must perform the following calculations, such as grouping the transactions of each customer by their unique ID. Next, you calculate the average order size per customer. Next, you find their average order frequency by dividing the number of orders by the number of customers. Next, you find the average customer value by multiplying the order size by the frequency. Next, we find the average customer lifespan, which requires subtracting the first and last date a customer made a purchase. And finally, we arise to the customer lifetime value by taking the average customer lifespan and multiplying it by the average value. All of these steps are very time consuming and can be prone to error at any given step, which is why it's nice to simply enter the following formula in your sheet and point it to your sales data columns. This way it automatically populates all these fields for you simultaneously. Now, if you're wondering how we built this custom function, you can visit the app script by clicking tools, script editor at the top of your sheet to visit the code and its comments. A few notable highlights I would like to mention is at the top of the script are several constants. The first three include the column position of each of the fields from the sales data tab. The fourth constant is to help us calculate each customer's retention period in months, since JavaScript uses dates in Unix time as milliseconds. We then arrive at lifetime underscore values, which is the most relevant function for a user at a high level. It is an uppercase because this is the format to call a function as a formula into a cell. It also uses several arrow functions, which is a modern way in JavaScript to map, filter, and reduce data in order to perform transformations without having to be too verbose compared to older JavaScript. It allows you to be more concise, using less text to write out your logic. This function performs all the heavy lifting calculations. Note, when using custom functions, if your formula only returns one value, Sheets will update one row. However, in this case, the custom function returns an array of arrays, and so Google Sheets updates multiple rows within multiple columns for us. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the script, and we find a function named group by key, which groups all the sales transactions by customer ID, making it easier to perform calculations on each customer's order history in bulk. Once grouped, it is called by lifetime values. And there you have it, a beautiful formula that calculates your customer lifetime value. Hope you found this episode helpful, my friends. If you did, please click like and subscribe for future videos. Cheers.